Welcome to Digital Toolbox. This is part 15 of the Florence Worth House case study, and today we're going to finish this case study off by creating four plans, sections, and elevations. So before we even get started, we should save this file as section or of plans or drawings. So I'm going to save as, not save as template, save as Farnsworth House drawings. So DWGs. So now save as a new file. So this is the file that we're always going to refer back to create our sections or floor plans. So you'll see why we have to save before we do do all this stuff. So to create a floor plan, we're going to draw a four foot line above the floor and then create a line that goes through the whole model that's four foot line four foot four feet off the the ground select select the model everything but the the guideline and then type in section it'll ask for a start of section so that's start of the line end of the section which is end of the line and as it loads it'll give you a section and then press escape to get out of that command and then we're going to cut and we're going to cut the section out of this model and we're going to paste it in a different Rhino file, a blank Rhino file that's just for our drawings. So when it's here, I'm just going to group it right away so I can drag drag it wherever I need to and then we're going to go back into our, our actual model select everything again except for the guideline and type in cut plane start of start of the cut plane and end of the cut plane is similar to the section command so it'll give you a plane that cuts through the whole model then you're going to exit the command and type in split so ask for the cutting object which is our cut plane hit enter space it'll cut through every object or geometry and whatever is not being cut it it'll say split failed so it's okay if, if you see that and then once it's done, we'll delete what we don't need and then make 2D. So now we'll take the top and delete. And now you can see that some things looks like we didn't get cut. But in reality is that because we didn't ungroup before we split, so we can do that now. We'll just type in ungroup several times. Or hit, what, the first time you type in ungroup, just hit space several times and it'll keep ungrouping. Now we can delete whatever that wasn't ungrouped. I'm going to delete my guideline since we don't need that anymore. Select my model, make sure I'm on top the top view. Type in make 2D. I did that too fast. Hold on. I'm going to delete that. Select my model, make 2D. This window will pop up. Make sure it's on current view which is top view and everything else you can just leave as is click OK it'll make your top view or the top view of what's been cut we'll cut that out of the model we'll paste it in our in our different file the same file as your section select that and I'll group it the reason why we are pasting our drawings into a different file is to save um, file space because sometimes your file your model file will be really large and to save space we'll put all our drawings in a different file so to create the section you will do the same way or you can watch the section in the advanced Rhino tutorials and to make the other views such as top view of the building or elevation views you would just cycle through the the views and then make 2D so now if you want to create a section you just open open the model again by going back into and saying Farnsworth House DWGs. So you open it up and then now you can create your section and and then ex or export it or bring it into the actual file where all the drawings are. And then from here you can either export them into um, AutoCAD to Hatch, Poche, or bring it to Illustrator and do the same thing. There's also a command called Layout and in the layout command you can actually lay all your drawings out but it's not that um, creative or designed for posters or what you need to do but it's just for basic construction 
not even CDs, but just to really quick printouts. But we'll go that into a Rhino advanced tutorial, and from here you can just export it to whatever um, program you want to finish off your drawings. And thanks for watching.